We are meeting again. So I am Madam Asmaliana and you can call me Madam As. You are again now in our English class. So a very good morning and assalamualaikum. I be to do to charisma, to cemerlang and to gigi for um, attending this class. You are very good that you are able to attend the class even though you are not in the Google Meet just now. But you are able to be in class today, okay? You can watch, so this is still called a class, right? So what are we going to learn today? So we are going to be on unit 6, This the same unit that we have learned before. Topic is still money. Okay, we are going to do listening activity on page 69 and informal writing on page 70. So now I want you to get your pulse book ready. Okay, and turn to page 69 and 70. Alright, please turn to this page now. Okay, now what are we going to learn? Uh, what are you going to do? Or what are the, what are the um, skills that you are going to have at the end of the lesson? So you should be able to take turns. Okay, take turns meaning... You are going to say things, you know, a dialogue. I'm going to give you a dialogue and you are going to do it vice versa. But you are not in the class just now, so you may do it on your own, okay? Take turns on a dialogue about asking a favor and then read an informal letter. So you still remember informal letter? Use pronouns to avoid repeating names and nouns. You pronounce, you are going to look at that later and also write an informal letter. Alright, now I really hope that you know what is informal letter. Uh, even if you don't, it's okay, I'm going to go through it again. Okay, so be ready. Alright, now turn to page 69. Okay, now we are going to do asking a favor. What does it mean asking a favor? Asking a favor means that you want something and that that something is a favor to you. Okay? Not to the other person. So you're asking a favor. For example, you want somebody to take you an ice cream or you want somebody to lend you some money. You know, that is asking a favor for you. Alright? So based on this picture, look at this picture. You see, uh, yeah, this is the daughter. And what about this one? Excellent. That is the father, right? So the daughter is asking a favor to her father. So what do you think she is asking for, right? The father is reading my, um, newspaper. They are perhaps at the backyard of their house. There are trees and also perhaps this is the house, right? So they are talking together. Okay, now you're going to listen to Lucy. So her name is Lucy. Talking to her dad and complete 1 to 4 in your notebook. What is 1 to 4, teacher? 1 to 4 is this one. You see the numbered blanks? There are four blanks here. So while you are listening, you are going to fill this in, okay? You are not supposed to jot anything in your textbook, but you have to write it in a notebook, okay? Alright, so this part is for the daughter yes lucy and this part is for the father all right so i want you to listen to it carefully and uh, later you're going to listen again and repeat okay practice your intonation all right so this is a recording i'm not going to repeat it again but you have to repeat again this um this listening and try to practice your intro nation all right in your pronunciation don't be shy this is your for your own good you are alone in your house right perhaps it's just your family so just do it and try to pronounce it on your own okay ready or not so we are going to listen and please fill in the blanks unit six integrated skills asking for a favor Exercise 5 Hi Dad, can I ask you a favour? Okay, what is it? Could you lend me three pounds please? Why? I want to buy a CD. How much does it cost? Thirteen pounds, but I've already got ten. I've got an idea. 
Why don't you earn the money instead? How can I do that? I'll pay you three pounds to wash the car. Okay, it's a deal. I'll do it when I finish my homework. Great. Thanks. All right, that is it. Easy, isn't it? Okay, now let's look at your answer. Okay, hi there. Can I ask you a favor? Okay, what is it? Could you lend me? What was the answer just now? Exactly three pounds. So how do you spell three pounds? T H R E E pounds. P O U N D S. Correct. Okay, why? I want to buy a. What does you want to buy? C D. Very good. Okay, how much does it cost? The father asked. What is it? Thirteen pounds. Correct. Thirteen. Pounds, but I've already got 10. I've got an idea. Why don't you earn the money instead? How can I do that? I'll pay you three pounds to what's your answer? Wash the car. Very good. Okay, so I want you to listen to it again. All right, and then repeat and try to, um, you know, pronounce the words as they are pronouncing it. Okay, all right, now I'm going to move on. Okay, so may I ask a favor? Okay, now look at number seven. Copy the phrases and questions in bold in your notebook. Then think of something else you want to buy and another way of earning the money to buy. Okay, these are the words in bold. What are the words in bold? These are the words or phrases that you can use in order to ask a favor from somebody. Alright, so you can use, can I ask you a favor? Could you or can you? Perhaps, could you lend me some money? Could you pause the salt for me, please? Okay. Is it okay if I what? What is the favor that you want to ask from your friends or your parents? Is it okay if I borrow your car for an hour? Right? Okay. Would you mind doing or would you mind cleaning or would you mind helping? This is basically the verb. What do you want them to do? Would you mind um, doing my laundry? Okay. Would you mind? Uh, would you mind to move a bit, right? When you ask for your sisters or brother to move a bit when you want to see, right? Would you mind? Um, would you help? Would you mind helping me with my homework? Okay. So these are the phrases that you can use in asking a favor. Now later, I want you to think of something else you want to buy. Another way of earning money to buy it. Okay. What do you you can do? In order to buy something, um, what you can do to earn the money? Exactly, you can. The things that the things that you are not doing in the house, for example, outside. What is it? Cleaning the garden. Exactly. What else? What else? What else? Uh, are the chores that we have learned? Remember the UK students, 15 years old, they are doing other things, right? Earning money. So what do they do? They took think of that. Um, write any dialogue. Write both parts. Use the dialogue in exercise five to help you. Okay, you can work on this one. All right. So we have done this in our Google Meet. Okay. So um. I really hope that you can do it on your own. Okay, work in pairs, take turns to practice your dialogue. So this is the dialogue that you, you work on. Okay, now let's move on. Okay, so this is the dialogue. So you have to refer to that again. Okay, now. Now, page 70. Turn to page 70. It is writing an informal letter. Okay, so remember this is. An informal letter. Alright, the, what is this called? The address and then the dates, yes. And this one is salutation, meaning dear who? Who do you want it to give? Alright, who do you want it to be, uh, to read the letter? And also the content of your letter. Okay, now, read and listen to the letter. What is Paul going to do for his birthday party? Okay, now I'm going to play the recordings. While playing it, you are going to read it with him, alright? Unit 6. Writing. An informal letter. Exercise 1. 3 Bennett Road, Bolton. BL7 4PJ. Friday, the 15th of April. 
Dear Grandma and Grandad, Thank you very much for my birthday present. I love my new trainers. I'm wearing them right now. They fit me perfectly. I'm going to have my birthday party tomorrow because it's Saturday. First, ten of my friends are coming to my house in the afternoon. Then we're going to go to the bowling alley in the town centre. My brother isn't going to come because he hates bowling. I think that's because he isn't very good at it. I'll invite him to join us later, though. We're going to eat at my favourite burger bar. In the evening, we'll probably watch a film at my house. Mum and Dad bought me some great new DVDs for my birthday, so I'd like to watch one of them. I'll see you next month. Thanks again for the present. Love from Paul. All right. So that was a letter from Paul, right? So where does uh, Paul lives? Yes, at Bolton. Okay, now this is for his grandma and granddad. What happened in the letter? Uh, he said, yes, thank you for the birthday present given by grandma and granddad. So he got a new trainer, right? So... Uh, he really love it. Alright, now, I am going to, meaning that this is in the future, right? Okay, I am going to have my birthday party tomorrow. So, he has planned to have the birthday party tomorrow. Okay, however, the grandma and granddad has given him his birthday present. So, this is uh, his actual plans for his birthday. So, it's going to be in uh, on Saturday. Uh, first, 10 of my friends are coming. Huh? 10 of my friends are coming to my house in the afternoon. Then, we are going. Okay, see the future? Future tense. Remember the plans? Uh, we have learned this, right? We are going to remember the things that we have planned to do, right? The bowling alley in the town center, my brother isn't going. No, this is planned. So they have planned that the brother is not going because the brother has told him. So he is using isn't going. I think that's because he isn't very good at it. I'll invite him to join us later though. We are going to eat. So this is his plan. Already planned. He perhaps already ordered, right? We are going to eat at my favorite burger stall. In the evening, we probably watch a film at my house. So these are the things that he has planned. Okay. So, however, um, here it is only one paragraph. Okay. When you are writing this, I want you to have more paragraphs. Perhaps you um, divide them into a few paragraphs. Okay. So this is for introduction. This is for the content, and this is for the conclusion right so that's the end okay now look at the sentences from the letter what or who do the words in blue refer to okay i am wearing them right now what is them referred to what was he wearing just now yes exactly the trainers Number two, i'm going to have my birthday party tomorrow so look at the pronouns i what is it Exactly, Paul. So he didn't mention, uh, uh, Paul is going to have Paul's party tomorrow. No, he's not repeating his name, right? Or uh, this one, number one. Um, thank you for the trainer you gave me. I'm wearing the trainer right now, right? So you are not using the trainer here because you have mentioned it before. So you don't want to mention it again and again. That's why you use pronouns. So this is called pronouns. Alright, let's look at number T, three. He isn't very good at it. What is it? Yes, playing bowling. He is referred to her, uh, to his brother, and then he is not very good at it. It means playing bowling. Correct. Um, number four. I'll invite him to join us. Okay. So him, pronounce him is referred to exactly Paul's brother. Okay. Number Five, we'll probably watch a film. Okay, the pronouns we, who are they? Remember how many friends he had just now? Yes, Paul, 10 of his friends and also Paul's brother. We'll probably watch a film. So he doesn't want to mention that again. So he used pronouns. I'll see you next month. So who is you here? Grandma and 
grandpa, yes, grandmother and grandfather. Exactly. So these are called pronouns, right? Okay, now next one. Copy and complete sets of pronouns in the writing focus. So this one you're going to write. Okay, you are going to copy this one, writing focus on page 70. Okay, using this pronouns, avoid repeating names and nouns. Okay, subject pronouns, are you, who is it? This one. Are you, he, yes. She, it, we, they, correct. Object pronoun, me, you, him, her, this one, it, us, and them. Okay, what is subject? What is object? Subject is the same. I means me, right? It's the same. You means you, he, him, she, her, it, it, we, us, they, them. But what is the difference between subject pronouns and object pronouns? Okay, subject pronouns is placed at the subject of your sentence, at the beginning of the sentence. For example, I am your friend. Okay, I. So it is this. It is a place as the subject. Okay, the beginning of your sentence. So if it's me, you will say, um, uh, are we, uh, no, so the word, uh, you are going to come with, you are going to come with we or you are going to come with us. It is at the end of a sentence, so you use, yes, as object. So during, in a sentence, you will have subject and object okay the one who's doing the action and also the one who is um, receiving the action so when it is at the back of the sentence you use this one all right and when it is in the beginning of the sentence you use subject pro pronouns okay that's the difference if you have question please ask me right um, you can message me or dm me molly hates shopping she prefers playing computer games so molly Hates shopping. She is the pronoun for Molly because you don't want to mention Molly again, right? Molly hates shopping. Molly prefers playing. No. So you use pro pronouns. That's a nice t-shirt. Why don't you buy it? So it is at the back. This is one and so object pronouns. But for it, it is no change. Changes. There is no changes for it. Okay? Or you can say, uh, your friend is very beautiful. Uh, I want to know her. Okay, you don't say I want to know she. You will say I want to know her. Okay, so that is the difference between subject, object, and these are all pronouns. Okay, now let's move on. Change the words in blue to subject or object pronouns. Okay, if I find some cheap DVDs, I'm going to buy. So, what is this one? It correct because this is referring to the an item, all right, not people or animal. Or animal you can use it too, and also items you can use it. Lucy doesn't like football because she isn't very good at football, correct? What is it? It yes. I want to buy a CD for Tim's birthday, but I don't know what music. He likes correct. So you don't say, you don't mention or repeat. The name team again, but you use pronounce he because he is a he. Amy didn't know where to go swimming, but someone told Amy about the new sports center. Amy is a girl, so someone told, but someone told her, not she. If she is, it will be put here in front. Okay, this is the verb, alright? So before verb, you can use subject pronouns. After verb, you use Object pronouns, okay? Told her about the new sports center. Remember? Subject and object pronouns before? Okay. Now, write So, this is your task too. You are going to write an informal letter. Imagine that it was your birthday yesterday. So, yesterday was um, 14. And you're writing to thank a relative for their birthday present and tell them about your birthday party. Okay, what happened is, your birthday party is going to be uh, in the future somewhere. Perhaps in during the weekends or whatsoever, right? But, your relative has given their birthday present to you. You have received it early. Okay? 
So now you have to decide what present they bought you and think of three plans for your party. So you can just say what are the present that they have bought you. Okay, just create that. Alright, and think of three plans for your party. So you're going to tell them what is your plan for your birthday party. Right, write an informal letter to your relative to thank them and tell them about your plans. Write three paragraphs, okay, three paragraphs. Graphs. Check your writing. You must use subject and object pronouns, of course. Use of future verb form. Remember, I am going to, they are going to, uh, she is going to, right? Things that you have planned. Or perhaps you can use will also, right? Some things that you may not have planned, perhaps you will, you know, think about it. Okay, remember to use dear at the start, your name at the end. So you are going to do it. More or less like this. Okay, this is your address. Okay, we use your address, and then this is uh, this is also your address. Okay, and then the date is written here. This is your date. Okay, here mentioned there's no need to put other person's address in an informal letter. So there's no other address. You don't put any other address. Only one address that is your address over here, right on your right. Okay, now start to, uh, on your left. The name of the person you are writing to. Okay, dear. You must use dear. Okay, you can change this name. It can be Jimmy. It can be Ali. It can be uh, what? CT. Okay, whoever your friend's names are. And then, thank you so much for the present you sent me. So, this is just an example I'm giving you. Thank you so much for the present you sent me yesterday. It's like a dream come true to have that blue smartwatch. Remember here? Decide what present they bought. So I have decided that they actually bought me a blue smartwatch. Okay, you can decide your own. What are the present that you have received from your um, relative? Okay, so you have received the present yesterday. It was your birthday yesterday. Okay, so you must tell your plans down here. What is your plans for the celebration? I actually have planned to have my birthday celebration on Sunday next week at 11 a.m. So that is your birthday. I mean, your um, your celebration, the one that you have planned. The color theme is going to be in baby blue. So it's going to be, remember, it's going to something that you have planned. It is going to happen because you have planned it. So it is in the future. I am also going to, okay, so you have planned this, serve what? Other than that, okay, give your own points. Okay, it can be like this. It also can be like the examples given before, right? So you, anything that you have planned for your birthday, your imagination up to you, okay? It's not necessarily based on this and just giving you examples. Okay, I really hope Tanisha could join the party. Perhaps you just mentioned anybody's uh, name. Perhaps this is the mm, relative name, all right? Perhaps uh, her cousin or her nephew or niece okay love sarah okay this can be yours truly yours love or best wishes perhaps it's better for you to use yours truly or uh, best wishes okay your name sarah because this is an informal writing okay this can be your example on writing the informal letter all right okay i really hope that you understand it uh, if you have questions please ask me okay so i really hope that you uh, you can do it on your own it's not hard okay it's really easy you just have to do it do it now okay don't procrastinate okay all right now it's a must to fill the attendance link uh, i'm going to give the link in the um, whatsapp group okay and also in your Kaizala group, complete your task and attach your homework along. Of course, you have to take the picture of your homework. Reminder to your task, writing book. Do it in your writing book. Page 70 in your pulse book, writing task. Okay, the questions that I've given you just now. In that, so it's the title, Money and Informal Letter. That is just that, one only. Okay, if you want to write the notes on pronouns please do so you are most welcome and you can take pictures of that okay remember you have to hand in your work because all of those are going to be um assessed in your pbd all right okay guys that's the end for today's lesson i really hope that you understand them 
And please, 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 please do your homework. Alright, see you.